I saw the vice president and governor on the first day of Nigeria dying. Primates Ayo Daily Reviews will come to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Revelations are divinely inspired messages of things that will happen and God conveys such messages to his people through his anointed servant. In this light, the leader of the INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah, I the last spoke in a video posted on the church Facebook page and dropped a revelation God showed him about the vice president's governors and the vice president's governors and the first lady of Nigeria. He said he saw the vice president's governors and the first lady's dying. In a video, Primate I the list said, Let us pray against the spirit of death this season. I said the vice president, governors, and first lady of Nigeria dying. So we have to be prayerful so it does not happen. This prayer will be for the whole Africa. We also need to pray for, against the death of a military head of state in Nigeria. These are the things we need to put in the hands of God so he will protect our nation. All right. Now, the thing is, I'm asking myself, where is all this one coming from? This man, eh, do you know in Sena country, this man, they go down, they go down the cool off. Sincerely, go down the cool off. You don't come out and give this kind of thing. You don't just open your mouth, bah, and just come out and start saying it. Why? Huh. Okay. Any politician that has visited Nigeria with death, killings, kidnapping, electro violence, and manipulation, and the bring brigandage of the highest order will fall into the spirit of dogs to cripple others. My dear man, I'm saying that this man should, you know, should be careful. Eh? This kind of be even with you could just come as I can't, can't just drop like that. Okay. You should be able to see a particular date now, at one time. If you can see this, then, okay, if you can see this, you are doomed. Well, I do. How old is I, B.B. and Abdul Salam, and what is the state of health? To me, you're just doing permutations like those playing Luto. You better go and sit down. You now prophesy on a weekly basis why nothing good comes out of it. I know you soon prophesy that a wallow will rise from the grave before May 29th to celebrate with BAT. Fake news and prophecies from the fake pastor. My own is, I've said it before. My own is that this particular man, I, I don't think he should be allowed. And even if you want to come out and say such, uh, even if you are coming out to say church, you are talking to your congregation, you should just reduce the volume, reduce the tone, because this thing, you then go there to go spit them together. And I will holler for you. False prediction. This is how you and other pastors deceived obedient, and their lame will be that you saw him in Asurok. Based on your instigative prophecy, Obi became... Obi has become complete momo about going to claim his, claim his or their student alleged mandate from a third position. What a preposterous, impossible task a bumpkin has set for himself. What are the old, what are Obi's contribution to Orca's infrastructure that can be compared to Omahe Wonders in Abakaleke? His eight years in the number has not left any track record of not. Okay, well, no wahala. My own is that this man should be careful. He should be careful of him coming out to say what he sees and what he did not see. And I've said it, there are some places where you don't come outside and do this madness. There are places in Nigeria you don't come out and do... There are places you are not even allowed to go. Okay, read down to the description of Obi's non-achievement for eight years. I said, Briri, which is sat upon as OBG sat upon a patient feed the nation farm at Alta. Aramba had been drinking beers to stupor. Another Obi achievement is perpetrating money laundering from True is Infidelity Bank, Fandio Bar, Desiani Gate. Will be Mr. Fake Integrity, Religious and Ethnic Bigot. Yes, Daddy. Okay. Well, my own is that these people coming out to do this, if they sign a bill into law that people should not come out and be saying this, this man I will be the first person to to flaunt them. And the thing is, nobody should cry and uh, they are trying to do this to these Christians now. Because now it's going about saying some things that are going to be causing problems. When they come arrest this man, now let's say for instance that they arrest this man and they start asking a question. Before you know, the people are now saying, hey, look at what they're doing to Christians. But I go there only now. now. God revealed to me too that because of the last election fraud, he has removed the 31st day from April this month. We should pray. We do not lose that one day. I look up to the day I wake up and would hear things like, if I'm a man of God, 
by this time tomorrow a bag of brides will sell for five thousand and it will come to pass and not this prophecy of doom every day we are so used to this so-called prophecy that we do not take them seriously again may god deliver this country if it is you are you going to take it seriously something they now used to play and see if it is no no all right a total will ward off any debt under Bolamit presidency. It will bounce back on its enemy. Fake messages from religion, the journalist. Let's see if your prayer could prevent you from dying as well. You push too much. I fear it will let you down. A word of caution. My own is even if, even though he was. I mean. All right. Ask God to show us the way out of poverty instead of storytelling. You have never seen anything good. I hope you realize that you mortal too and not immune to death. You continue to create fears for religious hosts to stay relevant and turn visions and prophecies to football forecasts and pools bets. I will tell you, this man, that is what he does. That is what he does. Sometimes I wonder what the so-called men of God are prophesying at all hardly come to pass. God of Nigeria is not a sleeping God because he's not a, he's not he's tired of seeing Nigeria situation like this. Since nineteen sixty Nigeria gained their independence. So God of heaven is not happy for the bad eggs in Nigeria. Nigerians are tired of bad government and bad administration. Then the thing is they're tired of bad government and bad administration, but they are doing nothing about it. Yes now, they don't they do anything about them. Then they do it about them. If you're tired of a particular bad mm -hmm. government, uh, what are you going to do? You're going to come outside and make sure that it is crystal clear that you're tired of it. Is your peace to be not among the politicians that have been ruling the affairs of the state and the country at large? You wish should stop deceiving yourself by calling Obi your Messiah. They are all the same thing because he has been with them for over 25 years. So all we need to do is to support the president and let him pray so that he can transform the affairs of a nation. I come in peace. Okay. Let me now say this to you. At the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, look at what you're saying. So even if we can governor or senator or president for city died, no issue. At least people are dying everywhere. Bandits, hatsmen, also we call it book or run. All right. As better or as good as TV Joshua died then, who else cannot die? Please, anyone that cannot die, but okay, but we only pray for his old age. Well, a day for Amokoko, prophet, prophet, and prophet. There is no need for praying for bad people who wants to die. Let that person die because Nigerians are tired of this group of people calling themselves, calling themselves. And all right, okay, well, this prophet, I don't know how to take it, but the thing is, in Senna climb, this man, we're going to be cool off somewhere. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.